Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday. I just went to the gym as you saw quick stop at home goods because one of my girlfriends bought a house and I'm going to go visit her today so I went to home goods to get her a gift card so then me in a home goods looking at candles and I got her a little card I thought this card was so cute I'm sure it's blank inside so I'm gonna write a note on it I thought this was like cheers to the new house this is really cute yeah it was $2.99 I thought that was cute and then I got her a gift card because I mean wait a minute for the gift card eh? oh my gosh hold on oh I almost fainted it came off in my gym bag <laughs> oh my goodness I would have been so mad why did it come off I would have been so upset. Anyways, yeah, get our one nice good gift card. <coughs> Welcome to a new vlog, new vloggy vlog. Thank you guys for watching my little clean with me fall decor stuff. I'm loving my little fall decor. I really am. I actually changed. I put the wreath back on my coffee station. I kept the plaque for a couple of days. Then I put the wreath back. That's how I do it though. Um, am I the only one that buys stuff and keep the tag on it? Put it where I need it to go in the space for a week or so to see if I'm filling it out. I'm the queen of that. That's because I fill stuff out for a while. And if I change my mind, I'm returning it. Because guess what? I'm going to need my money back because it didn't work for me. It's not, I don't really, is that called, is that really using the product? I'm sorry. Yeah, I do that. I'm not going to lie. So I put the wreath back because I actually like the read and then i asked xander and he's like hmm, i don't know i guess <laughs> i don't even know why i'm asking xander or o'neill because they really don't care they're like mm, it's your thing do your thing i don't understand what's going on with my voice i work monday tuesday wednesday and yesterday almost two hours after my shift was over i start hacking and coughing and hacking and coughing and then i come home last night and it was just a mess let me tell you guys how I strain my shoulder as well, doing all that cleaning that I did on Sunday. And then for these past three days that I work, I've been doing heat pad, Motrin, some expired Flexoril because, baby, when I looked at the, that date, I said, when was I prescribed this? It was 2020. I popped two of them because that's how bad from here all the way down. I strained it overdoing it doing too much work cleaning up and then i was trying to do everything in one day that's my problem i need to not try to do everything in one day i need to break it up well my shoulder feel better because i was heating the heck out of it uh and then that's why i went to the gym today because i did not work out monday tuesday wednesday that's how bad my shoulder was hurting i couldn't do it i could not move it so yeah i'm gonna go take a shower get ready and go about my business i'm gonna go by Kristen's house I don't know because I have to pick up Xander today because only he'll have something for work and I'm not gonna be able to pick him up and I have to go to Xander's school tonight because they're having a thing for parents and of course they must know my face let's go get ready I was jamming out man I was jamming out to 90s reggae 90s reggae music is absolutely the best music hands down <laughs> Didn't see us, no, no, this is a life art. Why get the put come down in a one time? Them wear it. Love and hate. Should never be. Listen, I've been jamming. She's ready. She's ready to go. I'm about to head on out to the, I'm going to run to the mall real quick, then go to Kristen, and then make it back to the house to do the rest of the things that I need to do. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a coffee before I go so I don't buy one because um, I know that's what I will do is buy a coffee and I need to just make one from my house. I have a bag of stuff with my caramel gizzard in because uh uh, don't like it.
coffee of the day was the Starbucks um, pumpkin spice pod. I bought these cups the other day from TJ Maxx with the fall leaves on them. How cute is that? Loving it. Anyways, let's go. This is my bag that I'm bringing today. I really pull this bag out when it's fall. I love this bag. Now it is the next day and as you can hear i sound a mess yesterday <laughs> i stopped vlogging because i had a couple of stuff going on i don't even know if you guys can see me you can't see i was quite upset and shed a few tears <laughs> i'm fine though i have no voice and i wasn't screaming but I know I kind of still have a call. I am heading out to do a couple of errands. I need to come back because today is my son's first official soccer game. And it's an hour and a half away from our house. So yeah, I need to do what I'm doing and come home. I was supposed to start taking my hair out today and I was just not in the mood. I guess I'll take them out tomorrow. I'm working Sunday. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to hop back on because it just went flat. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't even go to Kristen's house yesterday because of all the stuff. Her and I actually are planning on going to brunch on Monday after we drop the kids off at school. We're going to go to brunch and I'll just go to her house, pick her up, go to brunch, go down. Um, yeah. <laughs> awkward listen at it when I pick up the camera it's Saturday and <clears throat> my voice actually sounds a lot better me naturalist husband I call him that because he has a concoction for everything okay he made some kind of concoction for me last night and I'm not gonna lie I felt <clears throat> a little bit better within my throat but I'm jumping on because you oh no, ignore the ear. It's what I was supposed to be taking them out today. I'm not in the mood. I'm jumping on because I I was just trying some new popcorn. I went to Kroger the other day to buy some grocery. Okay, um back to the whole Aldi situation. If you watch my last video when I said the whole genetically modified stuff at Aldi and how comes I didn't know anything about it and I was not aware of it because I was living under a rock. The funny thing is, the stuff that I buy at Aldi are fruits. I buy fruits at Aldi and I buy the fruits that says organic. Every now and then I'll buy, what you call it, almonds. I do like these raw almonds and stuff because I try to snack on those. But I buy the fruits to like juice, right? And I buy all organic. The only one I think is not organic there that I buy are the pineapples. Now, in hindsight, yeah, I guess you can genetically grow everything. But oh my God, I'm going to have to rethink my life with, with, with Aldi. Crazy. The much I kill we off, eh? The much I kill we off. But anyways, I was at Kroger and I went to the popcorn oil aisle and stuff and I was getting my regular boom pop boom pop it, yeah boom pop in the purple bag I'm gonna show you guys in a minute and this lady was in the aisle and she was picking up this other bag and I asked her what is that is that good like I've never seen it before I said is it good whatever and she goes oh my goodness it's amazing bless you and then when I look at the ingredients, it's made from coconut oil, which is amazing. So, me with enough sales to make a try it. Let me show you guys the popcorn I'm talking about. Popcorn number one. This is the popcorn that is my, I call it, my indulgence. I really like this. I have to force myself to just eat a handful because I would eat all of it 
This is made with sunflower oil. Now this is the popcorn that when you see a close can may I use? Yes. I've never seen this before. I have never seen this. What is this? Lesser evil clean snacks. Now I'm gonna probably have to go look up all these people's snack. Honestly speaking though, I didn't really like them. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I didn't like them. Xander didn't like them. O'Neill liked them. He goes, oh, these are good. I don't know. I, I didn't like them. Xander goes, what is that? Is that salt? Ugh. It's supposed to have cheddar. <laughs> Xander's favorite popcorn is Skinny Pop Cheddar in the yellow bag. Those are his all-time favorites. Those are the only popcorn I buy for him. He loves those. He'll take them to school for a snack. <sighs> They're not. Have you guys tried them? Let me know in the comments if you try them because I just drank. Look, you see that big old pot? My husband just cooked a pot of Jamaican pea soup with chicken feet and chicken and all the things and I just had a bowl. It's, it was so, so good. So good. Oh, you guys, look at this. Look what I found. I found this at Home Goods. Look at the handle. Look at my D. Like, I want to tell me that that not look good. What? Tell me that don't look amazing. <laughs> So I become warm here on you. One next kickle. <laughs> At this point, he's like, you're your shenanigans, but it's okay. My other kettle, I just washed it and I have it in the basement. <laughs> the top the hung leather kettle there broke and he, he he's been screwing on the um screwing the the screw in the top this is my thing though i was looking for a kettle the other day because i feel like i buy kettles all the time and i buy them from like home goods the most i pay for a kettle is 24 dollars so me now with my enough sales so me go go look in a williams sonoma um what you had a place named crate and barrel i'm not trying to pay 200 for a kettle for what but i did see one and it's in my basket and i really really like it it was i think it was 89 dollars $90. I thought about it and then I went into Home Goods and saw that. I said, uh uh. Mm -mm, $24. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy this. I don't know. I just felt like the hot water. And I, well, not I, even only, we prefer a kettle on the stove that whistle. Number one, I don't have a lot of countertops, so I couldn't even put an um, electric kettle if I wanted to. But I prefer a, a, a kettle on top of the stove that whistles when the water warms up. It's just something about that, that we can't whistle, that whistling when the water is warm. But yeah, all right. I just wanted to jump on camera for that. Oh, my son's first soccer game. The team won. Yay for the team. He did such a good job. I'm such a soccer mom. Excuse me. I was on in the stands. I'm like, all right, Zander. Got it. <laughs> I'm. I, this is. This is just friendly stuff because even me, I'm not the parent that's, that's saying, "Oh, athletic this and athletic that," and you have to be on top of it because scholarship this and scholarship that after this. No, it's fun for him. He likes it. The minute he don't like it anymore, pff, we're not doing it. But. I was so into it. The other parents were there. The other dads, bless you. The other dads were there. And me and my husband said, oh, you're only, no, 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 offside, offside. <laughs> uh, he was, when I said he was, I mean, I said that because I'm my child. He was, he did a very good job at the first game yesterday. Oh, don't play with me. I don't make where I come from. But they had another game today and they, their team didn't make, their team lost. But, you know, you win some you lose some and we just have to work harder but yeah i'm a soccer mom don't play i'm a soccer mom <laughs> anyways let me go probably find some fun netflix sit down relax chill and no vlog is going up tomorrow i'm working tomorrow no vlog is going up tomorrow sunday i'll probably put this out on wednesday yeah
what is up so as you can see I came home and I went directly to start taking these out it is now 7:20, and I'm about to eat something because it's getting late and I'm trying not to eat after 8 o'clock so I need to eat and then go back and finish taking out the rest of this hair and I think I'm up there because I'm trying to rush may I pull out my ear a little bit I hope not so yeah progress is being made all right you guys it's now 10 20 at night and i'm actually over here watching this documentary on netflix called what is it called into the fire the lost daughter oh it's good <sighs> just made my little concoction for my hair avocado coconut oil and aloe vera i'm gonna put this mask on i'm gonna have to sleep in this tonight looks so good all right good morning it's monday it's 10 almost 10 30. i just showered washed my hair i went to the gym this morning dropped the kid off at school all those things the morning things that i normally do anyways <clears throat> getting ready to go pick up Kristen, and we are heading to brunch we are going to this spot downtown detroit called babo Babo. I went there one time with my sister and my friend Nicole and it's close to the Wayne State area if you're from Metro Detroit actually went to Wayne State University uh, so and it's cute it's quiet and the food was good so we are going there we have reservation for noon this is going into a slip back ponytail because yeah that's that's just what's gonna happen I don't know why I have a slight headache I have a slight headache I'm going to make some tea and take a Motrin while I try to find something to wear and get myself together. I just went through my medicine cabinet to get something for my headache. And then I started looking at expiration date on all of these. This is sad. Uh, I need to throw away all of this. This ibuprofen is, I guess, you see, 2009. This Aleve is this one is 2022 but this one is a little bit better this Tylenol this is 2017 and then this this is 2015 <laughs> I am gonna throw all of this away oh my goodness I have some <laughs> Motrin 600 I think that was prescribed to me my goodness this is 2022 do you guys take expired medication? Don't do that. Big, big nurse practitioner like me. Come on, man. I'm still, I'm about to take one of these, though, because it hurt me. I don't even know why my head is busting like this. I am ready. I was literally re Bye, O'Neal. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I just threw on. Listen, this is my wardrobe staple. I love a button shirt and some jeans. And of course, in the fall, I kill these. These are my Tory Burch. I love these. Oh my gosh. As soon as it say fall, me say say less. It's kind of dark yeah as soon as it says fall <clears throat> say less because i am about to pull these out i love them they're so easy to throw on anyways let's run out of here as you can see here is slick back because mm, can't do anything else with that and let's run downtown i gotta go to chris kristen is like 30 minutes from me but she lived close to downtown which is good all right i'll see you guys at the restaurant So I'm back home. I had to run, pick him up from school, and then take him to the dentist. Had a dentist appointment. How about I got a ticket downtown Detroit? Detroit. Let me tell you no. I know if you're parking on the street downtown Detroit, you have to do the meter. We go up to the meter. The meter thing is not working. I'm pressing. I even recorded the thing. Pressing, pressing, pressing. It's not turning on. So I'm like, this thing is not working. 
We go to the restaurant, we eat, we come out. One ticket drop on my windshield. $45. I have not had a parking ticket in so long, but $45, Detroit. $45 is way too much. And I told my husband I'm gonna dispute it. <laughs> Hear him. Laura just paid a ticket because you're gonna dispute this and then you're gonna have to go to court and all this foolishness. If the meter doesn't work, move your car and park somewhere else. Just don't park there. I mean, he has a point, but come on. The thing was not working. And then the timestamp on the ticket, they gave us the ticket 10 minutes before we walked out of the restaurant. <laughs> 10 minutes. I lucky want to dispute this. But for, and $45 for a parking ticket? I, I cannot, I just can't believe it. What do you think me for do? You guys think I should fight this ticket? Anyways, I'm really annoyed about that. I'm, I'm heading to Trader Joe's because I gotta pick up a few things that I only normally get from there. I look shiny and oily. That's the plan right now so that I can come home and do some meal prep type things. And then that's it for the evening. Alright, I will see you guys at Trader Joe's. Back at the ranch. I'm back home. It's now 6:41, and I need to. I'm about to make some pasta for Xander so he can eat some for dinner and then take some for school tomorrow for lunch. Um, I'm gonna make a pizza for myself. I buy this pizza crust all the time from Trader Joe's. That's what I use to make my pizza. So I'm just gonna do veggie on there. I'm tired. I feel like I've been running around. He asked what could he do for me I told him then my love is free But can you match me? I can do it all for myself Want you but really don't need help So can you match me? Guys, I just washed my hands And I forgot to tell you guys Oh, this smell so bad It stinks to me I need to get this up off of my I bought it because of course You know, the fall situation but this smells bad. I don't like the scent. And I keep a hand soap here because I prefer to use a hand soap than my dishwashing liquid. But no, sir. This is... Mm -mm. Have you guys tried this? Ah, this is really bad. I'm sorry. This smells really bad. So, I'm going to end the vlog here. I just cooked the pasta. Threw a pizza. This pizza is from California Pizza Kitchen. It's a thin crust, just cheese and um, spinach. I couldn't be bothered to do all the things on my crust. I had bought one the other day. I just threw it in the oven. I don't know, I fell for pizza for some reason. So I'm gonna eat that and um, take a shower, relax. And that's it for the evening. Oh, I bought two mums. You probably saw I bought two mums at Trader Joe's. I need to put them in my flower pot, but I came and I sat them in front of my garage. I'm gonna just throw them inside of my garage and put them out tomorrow. I'm just not in the mood. So yeah, we're gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys. I like luxury. I like fancy things.